this is for anybody who wants to take it, but Kelly had mentioned you guys put some new wrinkles in over this break. What looks like that full court press looked pretty effective tonight. Just how, how, why do you guys feel like it's been, uh, it worked so well tonight and how valuable can that be for you guys, especially as SEC play approaches? Um, I think we worked on our pace a lot this uh, break and so that translated into the press as well. And so I think it's something that we're just gonna be able to throw at people just randomly and they might not know how to take it. So I think it's going to be valuable in that aspect. But I mean, I think it was pretty fun to be able to get out there and just, you know, get that 10 second. That's our first one of the season. So um, that was good. So we're just proud of each other and our fight tonight. Jasmine, two part question. One, I, I will ask Kelly about Destiny, of course, but obviously in this game, you knew, you know, you were going to have the ball in your hands a lot. I think you finished with 10 assist is your mindset now that, that she's not available at least as of now and then second for you also being from Detroit even though you know Rakia tries to say you're not what was it like you know getting getting your uh, Michigan buddy back uh, for this game um to answer the first question yeah I just knew I would have to step up today um having a man down is always going to be um hard for the team but just Next person up, I think that we all kind of handled the, the pressure pretty well. Um, coming in, knowing that we were going to have Destiny down, knowing now we're going to have to play maybe extended minutes. Um, trying to bring on the defensive end as well. Um, but just trying to play our game and, and not let you know something like that kind of bring us down. Um, and second of all, having you know Kia back, um, it's always good to have her. Uh, we've been waiting a while to have her back. Um, and I'm glad we got the question now. How, how have you? Uh, how good is it to have her back instead of you know? How do you feel with her out? But um, she's great for us um, as we kind of get her back into things. Um, she's becoming more um, a pivotal part of the team. So um, it's just great to have her. Sarah, I'm gonna kind of go on that same trend when Rakia had that and one bucket. You, your reaction was amazing. I mean, you already yeah. were saying count it before it went in. Just can you talk about that moment and what it was like to finally kind of see that again and, and how much does having her on the course if you guys kind of relax a little bit and play a little more free? Yeah, it was great to see that because uh, we haven't seen it in a while and I was just really happy for her to be able to get back out there and, um, you know, still produce and, you know, show what she's still capable of. Um, and I mean, she's been doing that in practice this week too. So just really proud of her and how she just came back so easily in the flow of things. And I mean, it's just kind of, now we know she's back on the court. So like you said, we can just kind of sit back and like let her do her thing, but also she can create for us, we create for each other. It's just, she just fits so well with the team. So now it's just kind of easy. Um, so yeah. Uh, for any of you guys, today was one of the more convincing wins of the season. You didn't fall behind. It was pretty much in your hands the entire time. Just how much of a confidence boost is that? It was nice, um, obviously not having to stress about losing the lead at any point. I feel like um, it definitely gave us a lot of confidence, especially on the defensive end. That's just been able to, being able to push the pace um, off their misses. That helped us a lot. And then um, obviously our press looked pretty good, I felt like. So um, it was. it's definitely nice to have that win in our bag um, going into SEC play. Thank you, Lee um, Caroline, during the press conference we earlier this week, Coach Harper mentioned that you've kind of just been working your tail off since arriving on campus. You've been a real consistent player for this team the last handful of games. What's allowed you to be so productive on the court and continue to find consistency on the court as well? Yeah, I think that I'm just surrounded by um, a team of great players so and a lot of great shooters as well. So just having the court kind of be open. Obviously today they were um, collapsing a lot, so just knowing that um, I had shooters out there in the in the field that would knock it down. I think that um, just being surrounded by other great players has really helped me flourish. Uh, Jasmine, you guys held them to under 15 points the first two quarters. Just where do you feel like the team has made the biggest strides defensively over that break and getting that time to focus on yourselves? Um, I think we made tremendous um, strides with our defense. Um, we practice a lot with no threes. We know a lot of teams coming in. I think they average 24 threes a game. And so um, trying to limit that, trying to um, take them out of whack, trying to pressure them, make them uncomfortable. That's been our game plan for pretty much every team that we want to play. Um, you know, just trying to disrupt. I think that's a word that we kind of use a lot, it's disrupt. So um, the first two quarters, I'm glad we came out and punched them. 
and you know our next step is staying on that and staying on the gas and, and not letting them score more. Caleb and Maria. Jazz, when you had 10 assists tonight, was that emphasis for you coming into this game or maybe preached to you from Coach Harper over the break? Um, not really. I mean, um, Coach Harper gives me a lot of confidence to go out there and play my game. Um, and I'd rather, you know, have 10 assists than any points at all. So I'm just glad that like, I'm surrounded, like um, Carol said, with like, great players and um, giving them the ball and them finishing um, is just a part of that as well. For all three players, I know you have to practice in the morning, but the way the schedule lined up, you actually did a Christmas break. They've been short some years. Just what, I, I, probably going home, Alabama, Michigan, but what? How nice is this break to get you in the right mindset before you come back for you know what happens next, Liberty and the SEC play? I think it's going to be really nice just because we get to kind of just step away for a minute and you know just rest. And I think that's a big thing, fuel back up, and just spend time with our families. And that's a big thing um, for me. That's what I'm excited for to just be around you know the people I love outside of basketball and. Um, so I'm just really glad we're going to be able to get such a long break because it hasn't been this long before. But I mean, I know a bunch of us will still get in the gym and you know get shots up just to be prepared for SEC play. But very thankful for a break. Or so. than Ryan. I mean, we've talked a lot about Jasmine's assists, but overall, 23 tonight. That's only the second time this season you guys have had over 20 assists, and that was on 30 field goals. So that's. I haven't done the math, but I'm assuming that's probably the highest assist rate of the season. Mm -hmm. And super balanced scoring, just what do you feel like the key was tonight to have that kind of assist production and the balance in your guys' scoring? We knew we had the height advantage on Wofford, obviously, so our goal going in was work inside out. And I think that um, early on, it's been able to get some paint touches and some kickouts um, that helped us kind of as the game progressed um, with those assists. Uh, people were having to uh, respect the three more and respect the post more, so they just kept the other team on their toes, and I felt like there are more openings for everyone to score. For anyone, Kyle, that the team in plus minus, from your perspective, what kind of makes her a player that leads to the team winning? Um, I think she brings it on the defensive end. She plays really hard on both sides. Um, we love having her in the game for the intensity that she brings. Um, whether it's pushing the ball, I'm um, getting in the pain, getting those crucial guards that we need, or giving a, a, a key stop for us. Uh, we know she's a high motor and she's going to give everything she has, and that's something that we really value. Her. Jewel Spear, 18 points tonight, 50% shooting, just kind of another trend in the right direction for her. How good is it to see her just hit her stride again and, and get more of that confidence in her shot back? Yeah, this is uh, her second game in a row of, you know, that progressively doing better. Um, she works extremely hard off the court, um, and we have a ton of confidence in her. Um, it's just that she has to have that confidence in herself. Um, I think that seeing the ball go in and, you know, it makes her play harder. Um, and it gives that confidence, it's a confidence booster for her. So um, it's really good to see her, you know, shine during these moments. Because we know how hard she works. Um, and I'm, you know, I'm only um, excited to see what else she has to bring for the next couple of days. Thanks, ladies. 